Welcome back to We Happy Few. Last episode we finished the Sally storyline. Now let's begin the third and final act of the main game, Ollie. I wonder if the latty got away all right. Wasn't that the caper? I thought he'd never cut the power. Well, I hope she likes it. That wasn't very nice, what you did to Arthur. What did you do while I was out? Stuff. Chanterelle? You're a master of conversation. Look what I got you in the warehouse. Oh. She's so pretty. It's a fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? which was a lot. They're all quite mad, you know, the home army lads. Did you know the power switch was a lot? I think they want the Germans to come back. It's the shame of it, you see. You bloody knew! For heaven's sake, Auntie, times are hard, but you and I are neighbours from way back. The tanks are hollow, Ollie. What's that? The tanks, they're made of papier-mâché. Like we made at school. We could have fought them. If they didn't really have tanks. Did... Did you know they were fake? Of course not. I wouldn't have had to lie my way off that train. I would have told the lads. But, would have risen up. But, Ollie. Oh, my God. You were the general secretary. I did. You must have known. You don't forget a thing like that. I lied my way off that train. If we'd have known, we'd have risen up. We'd have had to. We'd have saved you and everyone else's kids. Didn't you hear me? I have to go find him. Oh, the bridge is crawling with policemen. There's that thingamajig you told me about. But I was going to use that. You, you were going to leave me? No, of course not. You're my daughter. You'll never believe you're a bridge inspector. You're right. You're always right. Take this to the Maiden Home Bridge and tell the Bobbies you're there to fix the bridge works. And from Maiden Home, I can get to Apple Home. Oh, and say hello to Percy for me. Well then, see you on the other side. I... I don't see how you could have not known. I couldn't have known about the tanks, Meg. I'd never have forgotten such a thing. I'll see the General. He'll tell you. He'll tell us I never knew. Margaret? He has to. Margaret? Ah, for fuck's sake! Someone's broken in. Look, down there. Wastrels. I think they're setting up some kind of bomb. Ah, oh, for Fuck's sake! <laughs> Go eat a banger, you leaky scanner! Defuse the bomb. That sounds like something I should do very soon. I just want some stuff, you know? Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. I'll take all of that. Okay, that, that's probably enough. Get what's coming to us in the end. Where the hell are they getting explosives? I love that we took a look at it for a second. We're like, hmm, how do I defuse this thing? Oh, just smash. 
sweep for more bombs. That sounds like a good idea. I think they're setting up some kind of bomb. I think we might need to get out of here. Away and pile your heads, you weightless fox pack! Do I have a healing item? Yes, first aid kit. Go forth and sin no more. So if we're escaping this place, can we ever come back? Because I didn't search up there very well. Don't forget all your things on the ground floor. You don't want to leave them behind. Better get everything I can scavenge out of there. Careful. Those people might still be here. Wait a minute. Huh, Ollie can play the piano well. How the hell do I get out of here? The doors are blocked. We can't stay here. The roof's going to fall on our heads any minute. How about we go back up and jump off the roof? Are you crazy? Well, I have that parachute, so it's better than it sounds. You're going to take a parachute up to the roof and jump off? If you've got a better idea, don't be shy. This sounds like an alright idea. I don't know if this place is really tall enough for that to work, but I guess. get back up. Ah. There we go. Christ, not the I made that cutscene rather interesting. <laughs> the hell is happening? This be a lesson to you then.
I'm not gonna bother looting them. Go forth and sin no more. Now I just need to get up on that roof. You're not seriously going to jump off the roof? Come on, live a little. Uh, bad choice of words, sorry. God, for Harry and St. George. Are you saying their views, right? Well, what if Private Wuss's name lied to us? Calm down, he's not stupid. We've got him locked up. If we don't come back, he'll starve to death. They've captured one of the home army lads. They could signal somebody for the window! Then why don't you fuck off back to Canary House if you're worried about it? Do I have anything else to throw? Tranquilizer darts. Jesus. You never liked me, did you? Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't seem high enough for my shoot to fully uh, deploy and actually slow me down. I think they're going to blow up the tower. Grab the essentials. Okay, those are the essentials, so let's grab everything else. What is this? Don't tell me that's a I need to get drunk meter. It probably is, isn't it? For a very brief time, decrease stamina drains. Brittany can be used to bribe bobbies. Makes you drunk. Oh, that's. Yeah, that's the, the same description as always. Is that just thirst? No, that did nothing. It is drunkenness, isn't it? I think it is, but it looks like I have to drink a lot. I have thoughts about that, but let's get through the sequence. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't forget your dolly. Think that's it? I think they're setting up another bomb. Where the hell are they getting explosives? Oh wait, they're missing something. No, I think they found it. <laughs> Break your legs, if you're very lucky. <laughs> 
Well, I've always wanted to try it. Parachuting, I mean. I've already broken my legs once. Don't recommend it. Whoops. All right, here we go. This doesn't work. I won't feel stupid for long. Trunks away! Margaret, wait for me! Those fucking wankers like rubble. I'm never going back there. Doesn't matter. They'll tell me I didn't know about the tanks. He's got to. But we can't get into the military camp. I wonder if that soldier can help. The one the wastrels kidnapped. Being Ollie. People don't like you, and not just because you occasionally insult them. You just don't fit in. And we know how well these treat people who don't fit in. You're muscular and a trained soldier, but if you want to avoid having to murder people, stay out of sight when you're trespassing. You're mechanically brilliant, but you can't use a chem lab to save your life. I feel surprisingly poorly for a man who's just jumped off a building. Your blood sugar's probably low. You better use one of those syringes. Oh, do, do we have diabetes? Ollie's blood sugar drops over time, making Ollie feel awful. When blood sugar is too high, Ollie's health will slowly deplete. Use a sucranase syringe to lower it, or wait. When blood sugar is too low, Ollie will have less health, move more slowly, be weaker, and insult people on sight. Use a glucose syringe or eat food to raise it. Ah, oh, yeah, so we do have diabetes. That's really interesting. It seems like drinking scotch did change it, though, doesn't it? Does that raise my blood sugar? Does it just, like, have sugar in it? Do I have anything else that has sugar in it? Jerky? Stew? I don't know, maybe. Oh, I think we're we're good now. Grow grapefruit juice definitely would have sugar in it. Okay, so we don't want that to be too high. Where, where do we want it to be? Do we want it to be white? Like, on the plus symbol, white and full? Is it only when it's above full that it becomes a problem? Hmm. Anyway, okay, let's talk about a couple things. It's always interesting to see situations, uh, cutscenes that we saw when we were playing as Arthur from different perspectives. Now we've seen some from Sally's perspective, and now from Ollie's perspective. And it's making me realize some things that weren't really clear when I was playing as Arthur. But from the other side, it's like, oh, I get it now. I get why they're acting like that. So we're seeing Margaret, uh, probably they are our daughter, most likely. Probably went away on the train or died or something. Oh, actually, yeah, they're dead, right? So maybe they didn't go away on the train. Maybe they just died. Because we don't actually know what happened to the people that went on the train. They're probably alive. I hope. Anyway, so we talked to them, but... I don't know, it... See, the game's doing a kind of weird thing. It's making it look like Ollie's delusional and seeing Margaret and talking directly at them. I mean, they were even literally looking at and talking to Margaret while having a conversation with Arthur. Which makes it seem like they're delusional. But it seems like they aren't. Because they recognize that Margaret is actually dead. Right? They're not delusional about them actually being alive. They're not in denial about that. And yeah, they know that they're dead because at one point they said bad joke. Something about like dying or being alive is a bad joke because Margaret's dead. Actually dead, which means they know that Margaret's dead. So I don't know exactly what the game is trying to do with that. I don't know if it's just that maybe they're internally just talking to Margaret in their own head and just seeing it in the world is kind of just for the player's benefit. That might be it. I thought for a second they had some sort of mechanic where you have to like drink and 
be drunk all the time to keep going. Thankfully, they didn't do that because that was my biggest problem with Ollie when we were playing as Arthur and encountering them is that they're just that stereotypical. Uh, I'm not sure if they're Scottish or Irish, to be honest. Excuse my ignorance, but they're that stereotype of Scottish slash Irish person who drinks all the time. And they still are that. I mean, there's scotch all over their place. That's not an accident. That's kind of what they're going for. But I'm very glad that that's not actually a mechanic. It's just sugar. Which is much more interesting that Ollie has diabetes. That's really, that's really neat. I'm really glad that they put in unique mechanics for each character. Um, I'm trying to think of Arthur. Did Arthur have any like really unique thing to manage? I don't think so. Yeah, I think Arthur was pretty vanilla and pretty straightforward. But then as Sally, of course, he had to take care of Gwen, their daughter. And as all of you have to manage their blood sugar. It's really interesting. And it also, this blood sugar thing also mixes well with the whole survival and looting and food aspect. Because it means you have to carefully make sure you have the right sort of stuff on you to raise or lower your blood sugar as needed. That's really clever. It's really neat. Can't remember if there's anything else I was going to say. Was that it? I guess that's it. Uh, we have a shitload of things to like look at, like skill points to spend and journals to read, I guess. I kind of stopped reading notes towards the end of Sally's playthrough, but I'll, I'll start reading them for Ollie's and just stop if I don't feel like it. Mm, axe would maybe be better than this cricket bat. Actually, maybe not. This thing seems to have amazing damage. Holy shit. It's maxed out damage. Which is weird, because it seemed to take a lot of hits to kill the enemies. High damage, moderately durable, can cause bleeding, can cause stunning, heavy. Hmm. Only bad thing about it, I suppose, is that it doesn't hit multiple enemies at the same time, which the axe does. For that reason, I think I might prefer the axe. We start out with a pretty high carry weight, which makes sense, because we're a pretty big muscular person. Steel-toed boots, that makes sense. Sergeant number two, service dress. So we used to work. Oh, here's here's the other thing I was going to say. I was wondering what about the world would be revealed by playing as Ollie. I wasn't sure because I didn't like we really didn't know much about Ollie at all when we played as Arthur. We met him a couple times and then never saw them again. Um, so I was worried that there wasn't anything interesting here. But actually, the mystery so far seems to be how much did how much did the British uh, I guess military actually know about the capabilities of the Germans. Did they know that their tanks were bullshit and they were fake? That's an interesting question. I want to know the answer to that. Oh, we have a pocket expansion kit. Hell yeah. Give me an extra two pounds. Um, used up gas mask. So, like, what do, what do we have in general? We have a couple healing items. We have a bunch of food. Some bigger bangers and stunt ducks and some bottles. Single lockpick. A torch. Right. Those are garbage. Margaret's doll. Whatever this doll looked like before the war, it doesn't look like that anymore. Oh, multi-tool. Disarms tripwire traps, acts as a lockpick, does not degrade. Oh, acts as a lockpick? So then I don't even need lockpicks at all. But also, I always wondered how to get a multi-tool when I was playing as Arthur or Sally. So I think the answer is you don't. I think you just have to play as Ollie to have a multi-tool. That makes sense. The extractor? Cool. Oh, this thing works on jubilators? I'd never leave you behind, Margaret. What kind of skills do we have? Let's see our characteristics. Unwell. Must use syringes to regulate his blood sugar. It's a little bit weird. I don't know why they don't just outright say diabetes. Are they avoiding it for some reason, or...? I don't know. 
Um, slow, can't run fast. Strong, can choke out unaware people, including bobbies and doctors. Can carry more weight. Hmm, yeah, as Arthur and Sally, we needed a special ability to take down the heavy ones. Or wait, did we actually need that as Sally? I don't remember, maybe we didn't. But we did as Arthur. And we don't here. Troublemaker, people don't like Ollie for excellent reasons. Wellies with red hats will automatically aggro upon spotting Ollie. Red hats, okay. Mechanically adept, chemically hopeless. That's another interesting thing they did. Again, Arthur was kind of middle of the road. Generic vanilla, they could use both chemistry labs and workshops. Sally could only use chemistry labs and Ollie can only use workshops. Makes sense. This stuff looks the same as Sally. Pretty much these. I imagine the combat abilities are probably going to be different, and super duper, of course, also. Throw things farther and do more damage. Throw 25% farther, 20% 20, 20 more throw damage. People who, people you knock down may stay down. 10% chance for NPCs to get unconscious after a knockdown. Hmm. Proper care. Weapons wear out more slowly. Warrior. Attack faster, move faster when blocking, blocking and attacking, cost less stamina, increased chance, defeated opponent will flee. Okay, so just super combat person in general. And then for combat, we have more health, more health, more health. Take less damage for most attacks, that's similar. Little time block with a weapon can knock your enemy down. Chain sweep. Are these the same abilities as Arthur? I think they are. I think these are the same as Arthur's abilities. Hmm. I definitely want to focus on combat for Ollie. Let's get this charge attack thing. More max health, that's great, plus it's super cheap this early. Real time block of the weapon can knock your enemy down. That also seems important for combat. Unarmed hits to the head have a chance to stagger the enemy. That doesn't seem important, but it does lead to... More melee damage, and more bleeding chance, but I'll leave that for now. Given that we move slowly, I definitely want to be able to move faster as well. More benefits from being well-fed, hydrated, or rested. Last 50% longer, I mean, that'd be nice. Plants yield more resources, does that matter for this character? I don't know, but these early ones are super cheap, so it's like, sure. And I'm sure they're going to give us skill points super fast, like they did for Sally. Okay. Whew. Oh good, when we have two notes. I was worried I'd gotten like 20 pages while I was running around looting everything. In which Oliver learns a secret. Wait, what is this? Is this just a story? in which Oliver learns a grave and terrible secret. It had been quite some time since Oliver had entertained a guest. Guest is capitalized. There were always the visitors, capitalized, that came in the night and attempted to make off with Oliver's belongings, and occasionally his life. But not a proper guest. So it was a welcome surprise when Oliver's old neighbor, little Artie, came for a visit. Oh. Is this... This is our diary. This is how we write down what happened to us? Like this weird story format? Oliver had not seen little Artie since that man began infesting all the televisions of Hamlin Village. Once upon a time, little Artie had been the weedy boy next door. He'd had his nose in a book practically since he'd been born, until Sally Boyle came to live with him. And from then on, he was following Sally around like a pup. But little Artie had grown up. He was now very tall, if rather stringy. And so the two boys quickly decided it was high time to go on an adventure. I have not been to the military camp in some time, said Oliver. And they have many good things to eat there. Don't mind if I do, said no longer little Artie, who talked like that. <laughs> so off they went. And while the antique gentlemen in the military camp huffed and puffed after Artie with their bayonets, Oliver brought home many tasty treats. But Artie had brought back a secret. It weighed no more than a piece of paper. Indeed, it was a piece of paper. 
but it weighed heavy on Oliver's heart. For Oliver and the other townsfolk of Wellington Wells had spent the long, hungry years of the occupation, considering the many tanks the Germans had in their military camp. These same tanks had rolled across Britain like monstrous fire-breathing tortoises, eating up all of Britain's finest boys who had opposed them. When the Germans demanded their cursed tribute, the townsfolk considered the tanks and gave up their children. But the tanks in the military camp were not the tanks of steel and fire. Artie had brought back a strip of newspaper from one of the tanks. He told Ollie that the tanks the Germans had left behind were made of paper and glue. And so the townsfolk could have risen up against the Germans, and they could have protected their children. They could have protected you, O oh best beloved. But had Oliver known this grave and terrible secret? He did not know. For you see, Oliver's memory was riddled with holes, like a church made of cheese whose congregation was mice. And he might indeed have known, for the Germans would have needed quite a lot of paper to make dozens of papier-mâché tanks. And so they would have asked the general. And who had been the general's aide-de-camp? But Oliver himself. Oliver did not like to believe that he might have known such a secret. Indeed, if had known such a secret, he could never forgive himself. For why would he not have told the townsfolk and risen up with them against the Germans and rescued the children, including the best beloved? And so Oliver set off to ask the general what had happened. Oh, and then just statistics, right? I forgot about that. Okay. Oh, I actually need to inject myself for the quest. So I guess I have it. Do I have it on me? Oh, yeah. Quickly raises blood sugar by 40%. Maybe I shouldn't have taken all that sugary stuff, actually. Yep, now it's too high. There. Don't you feel better? Maybe you could find a beehive nearby and steal some honey. I prefer to think of it as harvesting. Thank you very much. Mmm, honey would be good for that, for glucose. Get ingredients for another syringe. Uh, I mean, I don't have a padded suit, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get that. Not sure what I'm supposed to do about that. Ooh. Just explore, I guess. It's harder than killing Germans, isn't it? So we're going to have Margaret's voice in our head all the time. Well, lad, this is what we train for. Oh. Whoa, the person uh, that was here selling stuff isn't. Instead, there's just a bunch of traps? Uh, oh, I have a multi-tool. I can disable these, right? Yeah. Uh... There we go. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot of great stuff. Four sewing kits. Tons of flash and cloth. Some sovereigns, power cell, used up gas mask. Hell yeah. Oh no, the flashes. There's one behind the box so well. Shit. 
Takes it out of your shoulder. <laughs> Sorry, you had to see that. The Duke's a very loose and batting practice. You didn't really feel any tension. If there is any tension, you did it pretty well. Jenny Keane opened up the Duke's the manager. It's very well, so it's ready, happy to be here. Yogi is only Yogi can say it. He says we're ready, we're real happy to be here, and at least we all know that we're going to go home after the game today. That's how excited Yogi was about it. What the hell was that? Sound like he's talking about a, I don't know, a baseball game or something? Maybe? And... It was like a little snippet of American radio, I think? There were definitely American accents. Um... Go to Canary House. Wait, what's that for? Overheard these wastrels saying to capture some of the home army lads and they're keeping him prisoner at Canary House. Maybe he could help me cross the bridge to Raven's home. I guess I could just ignore Sweet Spot for now. I maybe have to. Um, well, what can I, let's see what I can make. Maybe I can just outright make a padded suit? I can. Yeah, I just need a mechanical crafting table. Anything I can make out here in the wild that I want to make? No. Dig spots would be nice. I mean, that place is pretty close. I do want to unlock shelters, though. So I can fast travel. So let's go with this first one. All these sprinting speed really isn't too bad. Who's gonna Oops. I don't need hands. Meant to do that. You may have a wee headache later. Well, I guess we'll meet in hell. It's gonna be a crafting table down here, of course. Better mouse trap. The no questions axe. Ooh, that'd be nice. Rubber cat suit. <laughs> Can you imagine Ollie wearing a rubber cat suit? Oh, I don't need to dump anything. I barely have anything on me. Padded suit. Anything else? Yeah, I don't really have much on me. Holy shit. Oh my god. I just need a metal tube and a couple metal bits and I can make this like flaming axe. Wounds and cauterizes at the same time. Efficient. Causes burning damage. Heavy. Okay, that sounds fucking amazing. Oh my god, I want to make that. Better mousetrap. Deals swift and shocking retribution to those foolish enough to approach it. Proximity mine that deals electric damage. Electric shock. I could do this in the dark. I think I have. Uh, maybe I should, like, sleep for an hour. And... See Off if my blood sugar is better. I don't know how long I have to wait. That didn't do much. So, let's sleep for longer. Like, five I'll hours. Thanks, Margaret. There we go, now we're good. Is it still nighttime? 
Isn't it? It's 11 a.m. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes the game needs to like load in the new day. It's weird. I guess I do kind of need these just to make healing items. So maybe I should get the thing that gives me a uh, double, uh, double resources harvested. Well, let's get some honey. There we go. You're a real charmer, aren't you? You're a tough crit. <laughs> oh no, the bees go after other people? I'm so sorry, they had nothing to do with this. Oh, that's not fair at all. Um, I got the Crazy Legs quest, which we had as Arthur as well. Did you know I was supposed to be the impractical one? What's got into you, laddie? I used to be the fastest, you know. And then I wanted to be even faster. I got a recipe for it. Don't ask me from whom. Then they took it from me. And you know what? I can't run, even like I used to. Help! It was a crutch. I can see how it'd be hard to run with a crutch. Uh, it's not funny. It's not funny at all. Will you run for a bit with me? Till I get the hang of it? At least I can outrun you. I mean, look at you. You're not going anywhere fast. And I'll get my confidence back. Thanks for the flattery, laddie. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the bees. Um. Where is Eric? Where did they go? They just kind of like disappeared. Bandit! Bandit? The bees? Robber? Murderer? I mean, murderer, sure. Duh! They're coming for me now, I think. Let's make it the active quest. Holy shit. Hide! Hide! No hurt us! You still got it, buddy. Why are you already crying again? Oh. Oh. Uh, hold on. Burn. I want metal bits so I can make that axe. For a bit, if you don't mind. No metal bits? I don't need lock picks, so that would be totally pointless. Yeah, that's all just garbage. Next time you see those lads, why don't you just run away? Run away? Yes, I could have done that. I should have done that, shouldn't I? Instead of hiding. You've helped me. I've been running around watching people bury things. I've marked it all down. Take this map. You deserve it. If only all problems were that easy to solve. It's like, oh, no, you know, you can actually just do this thing to make things better. Just run away from them instead of hiding or whatever. Oh, yeah, thanks. All right, bye. Okay, what am I doing? Do I want to go to dig sites? A lot of abandoned houses. Abandoned houses would probably have metal bits. Let's go to this one that's really close to the uh, the workshop. The safe house? What are they called? Shelter. Been a while, hasn't it? Eh? Metal bits. That's actually all the metal bits I need. Wow. And that's like the only thing here. Perfect. Oh, I still need a metal tube. No. Can I make a metal tube? 
I can, but that oh, that takes metal bits. Okay, I won't make it just yet then. Let's home station. It's kind of close to the decamped thing. Let's go here and just open it up. Oh, this is the creepy one. back here without all those disagreements. You could have killed someone. It's Sunday. Nobody goes to work on Sunday. It's Monday. Uh. They're going to know it was you. You told everyone in the Duke's arms you were going to do it. What were you thinking? What do you think, lass? I was thinking I won't have to see Uncle Jack's stupid face everywhere. I'll just put up another antenna. You're right. Oh, you're always right. I think you better get out of town. And where do you expect me to live then? In the garden district? They don't have televisions there, do they? So is that what made us move to the church? I don't need those sovereigns. I shouldn't do that. Just when you play a game like this, I just feel like I gotta loot everything even when some things don't matter. Ooh, look at that. The shadow even goes through the holes in the tablecloth. I don't know why that surprises me, but it's cool. Right now, do I have the stuff to make the axe? Do I have enough metal bits to make a tube? And have enough left over? So let's make the tube. I think I am gonna have enough left over. Wait, what am I missing? Oh, now I finally need the upgraded mechanical thing to make it. Oh, damn. Finally, that is an actual thing. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, it is kind of re looks ridiculously powerful. Does it tell me that I need the upgraded workbench before I have the ingredients? Like, if I get the ingredients for this, am I good to go? Or is it then going to maybe say you need an upgraded workbench? Don't know, but nothing but to worry about right now. This? I don't think I'm going to find an upgraded workbench for probably a little bit. I went to a dig spot and then realized I don't have a freaking shovel. Help! Somebody help me! They've kidnapped me! Oh, they're going to mind if I pick the lock. Oh well. You're not my neighbor! This is it! Oh, I don't have any more bigger bangers. Don't eat me, me. Don't eat it. Hmm. They don't seem interested in the stunt duck. Lock. Hee hee, they can't get in. Maybe. I hope I've not made you late for supper. Oh, there's other ways in here. Shit. I 
I made a doll of Mum. It's very like her. Is it? I wasn't sure. She was a tad taller. It's a doll. She was taller. That's not very funny. Well, I thought it was. <laughs> I'm sorry. You miss her. I guess. It's just how everything is now. Nothing's the same. The way things were doesn't even seem real. I sort of miss it, and I sort of... It doesn't seem real. You have too much wisdom at your age. It's hardly fair. I got to be a complete numpty until I was 30. <laughs> what are you smiling for? All right. Now you can make one of those sugar hypodermics. Oh, now don't forget syringes. to use it if you start feeling weak. But don't overdo it. It can really hurt you if you take too much. Can I make these out here or do I need a table? Is it these that I need to make? I think it was a glucose syringe. Oh, I can't make anything because I'm in combat, right. Oh, sitting down doesn't actually make me hide. There's the one what done it. So the sergeant says, Lucky I don't believe in ghosts. So I says, thanks. Okay, now can I make that? Glucose syringe. Yeah, is that the quest done? Yeah, actually, it might have been done even before I made it. Not sure. So, how'd they get you? Did they sneak into the camp? Oh, I, uh, got lost. I think you deserted. Oh, taking French leave or were you full out deserting? It's always march, 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 drill, 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 and stabby, stabby, stabby with our bayonets. For years. The cherries are never going to come back, are they? I need to go and talk to the general, but they won't let me cross the bridge. Well, they won't let you through the front gate either. Well... I suppose I do owe you. Listen, just tell Sergeant Oldcastle you know what happened on Trim Street. What happened on Trim Street? What happened on Trim Street? Well, I'm not telling you that. I guess you're not heading back then. I guess not. See you when I see you then. Not if I see you first. Tuck that in, you maggot. Nice to have orders. Don't have to think so much. Did their voice just change? If you can't find something to do, I'll find something for you. It's supposed to itch. Do you think they would respond to me differently if I was wearing this? Don't just stand there and go up. Hop to it! I'm just saying, maybe we should recruit. Nope. Oh my god, I already have 28 points. Yeah, this is definitely a much shorter storyline than than Sally even. They're just really throwing the points at me. I appreciate that though. Let's get chain sweep just in preparation for getting that fire axe thing. Mm, blockbuster, chance of breaking enemies weapon with a successful block with your weapon can also stun. Basically, I'm going to be real good at combat. Let's get more health. Hmm. Let's get a hurler. Do I actually want these, though? Weapons wear out more slowly. Like, that's alright. Warrior's good, but slugger and hurler are kind of just, meh. It's funny that I can throw people further. That's funny, I want to see that. <laughs> but I don't think it's actually that useful. Carry weight's always good. Let's get that. Crafted weapons and atomizers wear out half as quickly. Now, specifically crafted ones. But still, that's really good. 
I mean, that's kind of like... That's like proper care. Weapons degrade 25% slower, except twice as good because it's 50% slower. Although it only works on crafted weapons, but... Huh, yeah. Anyway, alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to head over to the Victory Memorial Camp.